Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up quality gates in Sonar Cube, and then we are going to learn how to force Jenkins to fail the build, right? When the certain quality gates conditions are met. Okay, so why we have to do that? So think about a scenario that you work on a project where you know you have group of developers checking in the code, but let's say that you know they are not doing a good job of you know. Uh, fixing the uh, any bugs and whatnot. So how can you enforce them just to make sure that you know uh, they are going to fix it by failing the build, right? For example, you see here. So I do have a project already configured uh, in Sonar Cube. So currently this has two bugs, right? But imagine that you know whenever developer commits the code, you know they are not taking care of you know certain issues, right? Uh, you know they they are not fixing the defect or they are not taking care of it. So how can you create something in Sonar Cube, you know, so that you know you are kind of forcing the build to fail, right? So that is what we are going to learn. Okay. So Sonar Cube has a very good uh, feature called Quality Gate. So what you can do here is you can create a Quality Gate, okay, in Sonar Cube, and then you can enforce this quality gate for any project you are going to do a code scanning right and then whenever you know uh, you are doing the scan if certain conditions are not met you can force jenkins to fail the bill right so so guys before we get started this is my website coachdevops.com so like i mentioned we are going to learn how to set up a quality gate and then how to force jenkins to fail the bill right so that is what you know we are going to learn Okay. All right. So, what are the prerequisites? We need to have Jenkins up and running, Sonar Cube up and running. So, this is my Sonar Cube and this is my Jenkins. Okay. Uh, these are already up and running. I have already integrated Sonar Cube with Jenkins by installing uh, Sonar Cube plugin. I also configured token and whatnot. So, everything is good to go. Right. Okay. So, now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and then, you know, create the uh, quality gate. So, how to create the quality gate? Let's go here. I need to create a new quality gate. So I'm going to say my uh, quality gate, right? Okay, and then save it. Okay, so now the quality gate has been created, but what we have to do is, you know, we have to add some conditions, right? So let's click on add condition. And then this is the metric, right? So you can choose, uh, you know, the conditions. For example, let's say every time developer commits a code, you don't want to have new bugs, right? So you can do that if you want to. Let's say uh, I'm just adding this. Let's say I'm clicking on new bugs. So and then let's say I don't want to have any new bugs. Uh, you know, if there are, uh, let's say, you know, if I, okay, let's say if there is more than one new bug, right? For every time I do scanning. So you can do like that, right? So basically I have added that. And then let's also add another condition here. Um, let's say this is just like a bug right you know so i want to have another condition here that you know you should not have more than one bug if there is more than one bug i want to fail the bill right so that is the quality gate you know i'm kind of creating that okay and then once you uh, create the conditions and of course you can add other conditions too right let's say you want to add code coverage a right? lot of things you know you can do all you have to do is just type the keyword and then you know you would be able to uh, select the uh, criteria criteria okay all right uh, so okay so now we have created the conditions and then click on uh, here right so click on all so so this is going to show up all the projects right so you can choose which project you know you want to apply this quality gate right so currently i have only one project which is set up here so you see here this is the only one project i have so i'm okay to go ahead and then choose that project okay so that's it, right? So basically what we have done, we created a quality gate, added conditions, and then we also selected the project, okay? We are not done yet. You also need to make sure that, uh, you know, you are uh, selecting this quality gate as a default quality gate, right? So that whenever that pro uh, project is, you know, scanned, it is going to talk to this quality gate, and then, you know, it is going to run these conditions and whatnot, okay? So awesome, right? So so that is pretty much on, on here, right? And then what we have to do is we need to go to administration tab 
and then what we have to do is we need to uh, you know add web hooks okay so why we have to do that so think about a scenario that uh, you know uh, sonar cube is running the scan right it is doing uh, it is you know it is in the process of scanning the code it is yes going to execute the code quality gate and whatnot after you know it does the analysis it has to notify jenkins that okay i'm done with the analysis right so so for that we have to add web hooks okay so basically if you look at, at the jenkins url so this is the jenkins url right so that is what i have added here but if you think that okay you know what let me do one thing let me delete this i want to add a new web book right? so go to create and then you can give any name okay my web book and then in the url you are going to add jenkins url right okay like that and then in the end you are going to say sonar cube iphone web book okay so that is important you need to have like this and then put slash in the end right and then say create right so th that's it right so this is the uh, second step okay so now what we have done we have created the quality gate and then we also created web books okay and then if you go to jenkins right so this is my uh, let's say this is my pipeline right this is my pipeline uh, sorry not that one i want to use this pipeline so this is my pipeline right where i have if you see here i have already done uh, you know checking out the code building the code and then you know scanning the code right and as you can see here currently the build is success right currently the build is success but even though what i have two defects right even though i have two bugs still the build is success right so now how can i force jenkins to fail the build right how can i force jenkins to fail the build when there are some bugs right so that is exactly what we are going to do right okay so how to do that right so let's go to pipeline go to configure and then under pipeline tab okay you see here there is an option called pipeline syntax so click on that and then here look for quality gate right so you see here you see this option wait for quality gate so select this option okay and then click on the question mark okay you see here right so this is what we are interested in here right so they also have given a code for declarative pipeline and then scripted pipeline. I think our pipeline is scripted pipeline. So I'm going to go with this option. We already have this uh, stage, right? If you look at our pipeline code, this stage is already there. Okay. So we are interested in this particular stage. So I'm going to copy that. Basically what this is going to do is, so while the scanning is going on, it is going to wait for one hour just to make sure that the quality gate is passing or not right because obviously right whenever a sonar cube is you know doing the scan it needs uh, at least some time right uh, to determine whether the uh, uh, analysis is success or failure right so for that we need to at least give some time right so that is what this one is for so let's copy this code and then go to pipeline click on configure okay you see here right we already have a stage for sonar scan and then you just going to below that and then add this particular stage okay so I'm, i want to say that quality gate and then this is like i want to wait one hour all right and then if the status is not okay right and then it is going to uh, abort the bill right so that's exactly what we wanted to do right so apply and say okay and then let's go ahead and then run the scan so click on bill now so now let's see what jenkins is doing right okay so right now it is checking out the code currently it is in the process of building and then it is also in the process of uh, scanning so sonar scan is started so it is loading the uh, rules right okay so let's see okay Okay, it needs some time wow see here what we got it says that sonar cube task is completed and then quality gate is error and then it also what gave this message as well right pipeline aborted due to quality gate failure and then if you look at here 
obviously right our pipeline is in red state right it means that quality gate is failed right this is really awesome right see we are able to see that here and then if you also go to uh, sonar cube and then click on the projects wow see here now you are able to see that quality gate is failed right so let's try to look at the code let's try to identify what is going on here right okay so this is like a minor code issue right so basically if you look at here uh, we have html code like this like this and then we need to add something like that right so this is like a compliant code this is non compliant all we have to do is just add this particular line you know what why don't i do this why don't i go ahead and then make this code change right and then see whether uh, you know whatever the fix we have done is working and then you know we'll see whether that is going to make the quality get pass right so that is my source code as you can see here right that is my source code all right so i'm going to go ahead uh, because if you see here this is index.jsp right which is under src main web app so so this is the one right so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and then add that change what it is needed right so that is what it needed right so i'm going to add that code change right so i did that so that is one bug and then let's look at the second bug this is the second bug right and what this needs this need actually let's see yeah so this needed a head section right so let's also add that as well okay uh, it's supposed to be inside the body right it's supposed to be uh, no sorry it's, it's it should be outside the body so let's add that over here as well perfect right and then i'm going to say my web app i just want to give something like that okay perfect so basically what we are, we are doing we are fixing those two box right which sonar cube um, you know found out so i'm going to say here fixed two box right let me go ahead and then commit the change so now my code is committed and then let me go ahead and run the script right of course i haven't enabled any web books or anything like that but it's, it's no big deal you can you know you can kick start the build however you want to do it but my intention is you know to test the quality gate and then enforcing the build to fail so as you can see here it is in the process of for running the scan wow see here now we are able to see this as a success right why we are able to see this success because if you go to sonar cube wow see here because there are no defects right isn't it there are there are no defects so that's why the code quality gate is passed and then you know the build is able to run right right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can force jenkins to fail the build when certain when code quality gate is failing all right awesome guys thank you for watching the video